We're going to watch Osman Gold's very first, very, very first uh, Vampire Survivors win. And we're going to see what we can learn from his very first Vampire Survivors win. So this was, I think, his second stream that he did. He was able to get his first win with Poe. So we'll pause it occasionally. It's going to be kind of a little bit of a react plus uh, educational based on how he does and his thought process and what he does. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we're totally fucking fine. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. No, no, I can't buy anything else. He's going to get me okay. demonetized on my YouTube channel. I, I, like, it threw me life. off because, like, people kept... God damn it, man. I should have never listened to chat. If I hadn't listened to chat, I'd still be like... First most important point. When you're playing Vampire Survivors, don't listen to chat. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> I, was, I was doing something I, I didn't feel comfortable with. I, I will say he's being very relaxed right now. He should be being a lot more aggressive. So first thing is um, enemies spawn up to a maximum amount during each wave. So there's a maximum amount of enemies that can be on screen at a time per wave. So him standing there doing nothing is actually reducing the amount of total enemies that could be appearing on screen. If he's moving and killing bats, the game will start triggering more bats. So he should, he should be playing more aggressively, especially at the beginning when you have garlic and you can kill everything in one shot. You should be very aggressive and try to get as many early levels as you possibly can. It's Weapon choice of, of, uh, I have one way of King playing, Bible is very good. It. So if you're not aware about how King Bible and garlic interact, they have very similar areas. And when enemies get hit by garlic, it reduces their knockback. So if you can get Vespers, Vespers has a knockback of four, which is four times the normal value of knockback a weapon has. So then if you expand that even further, because garlic is reducing knockback weakness, you will just knock back all the enemies to high hell um, with the combination of garlic and Bible. It's the most potent combination for just pure survival. And the only thing you have to worry about is having the area of effect so big that enemies can walk through and dealing with bosses that are completely resistant to knockback, the 25 minute bosses, which don't, you know, aren't affected by knockback. Even if they're not evolved, uh, but especially if they are evolved, you can literally just stand still with almost any character and you'll never die. And anything so, besides that. So, I mean all of that to say, this is a very good starting combination. It's great for uh, getting early kills because the garlic will kill most enemies. And the enemies that it can't kill will get killed by the Bible. Okay. What is Tome upgrade with again? This is also a mistake. He should not be focused on um, what are the possible evolutions. The game is not all about evolutions. The game is about, uh, if you want to survive the 30 minutes, it's about getting the most potent combination of weapons and accessories to keep you alive for the 30 minutes. So Tome here is an auto pick. You don't even think about it. Tome does cooldown reduction right, but the cooldown reduction gets stronger the higher it goes. So looking at his stats, you can see he has no base cooldown reduction. So cooldown, Tome, maxed, um, will get him 40% cooldown reduction. That means he will almost double the output of projectiles and double the damage. It's one of the best one of the best accessories in the game. Even if you're not going to take Magic Wand, you pick it because it's so valuable for every single build. Maximum damage. Garlic again. Big dick garlic. Let's go. This is my most successful run I've ever had. He's not wrong about this either. Garlic's biggest problem is its damage scaling is very poor. But in particular in the forest, and I wouldn't say in every single level, but in the forest, at around 11 minutes, you have like the best wave in the entire game. The skeletons come and army, and they are just plunder for the taking. It's, it's a great way to just immediately launch your build into the stratosphere. And to do that, you need at least level four garlic. So him getting garlic early, and I'm prepping for that 11 minute ten, wave is going to like guarantee him a win. If he can, if he can just walk through the now. skeletons at 11 really minutes, it's really hard okay, to lose when axe. you have Bible and garlic uh, at that point. He took uh, he took Pomerola, and Pomerola is not good. Um, first off, he's in the forest. He doesn't know, but there's a free one if he wanted one. But okay, he doesn't know that because he doesn't have a map. He hasn't played the game enough. That's fine. Regular garlic with a better accessory is better than evolved garlic. 
getting a uh, like, soul know, like, eater like a a does not is not worth games, getting primarily uh, that they, that they have think as a beginner the first thing you need to learn is the best defense right. is a good offense good. yeah i don't need to know the mechanics of the game like I, I already know everything about the game if i didn't explain why i'm winning the man doesn't even know that he Explore can walk down and get a free Pumarola and dares to say he knows everything about the game. Okay, my uh, daughter Sherry knows more Mom, than he does about this game. To be fair, good? she has watched a lot more than he has, most likely. It's similar to similar to Tome. You don't even think about it. You take Duplicator, Snap Pick. It's good with every weapon except for Garlic that he's already taken. Oh, and it tremendously it. increases his safety and damage output across the board. There we go. So it's yeah, fine. you don't even think about it. Yeah, you don't even need Lightning Ring, right? Like, similar to Tome, oh, wow. Oh, wow. it's oh, so oh, good, oh. you don't need to worry about getting evolved. Wow. I mean, he's got a very solid so beginner no, build. I, I'm just, I'm, I, Garlic, I, I'm just asking what abilities Bibles, have. Duplicator, like, this is all good. This is all good. Okay. He's still not being as aggressive right, as you uh, should let's be. Do, uh, so here again, let's, let's do uh, auto pick tome. Auto pick tome. You don't even think about it. Uh, let's do garlic again. We're gonna yeah. do garlic again. Holy shit! Okay, let's loot all. These. I don't know what he's so happy about. He killed the boss. Okay, kill all these guys right here, real quick. <laughs> there we go. All right, we're gonna pick off. Rune tracer's trash. No, it's not. This is no, true. Rune Tracer is not trash. trash. I w okay. Rune Tracer is not great if your goal is to survive. It doesn't do nearly enough knockback. It's not protective at all, and it's completely random. It is very good at getting high kills because it will kind of work its way around spaces where your other weapons don't hit, and it does pretty good damage. But no, it is not good for staying alive. It is just good for killing things in the rafters <laughs> of, the, of the area. Um, there are much, much better weapons to take if you're just go if your goal is to just survive for 30 minutes. You guys are acting like I'm taking this very seriously. No, I'm taking I'm taking a thing that a lot of people watch, and I'm explaining what's good and bad about his choices, not because he's doing it seriously, but just for fun. Yeah, candle's really good. Candle's really good. Candle Labrador is very good. That's actually not wrong, and especially when he has axes, it's very, very good. He's uh, not like, like I mean, no yeah, problem. he's maybe joking it's and doing a meme with wheel. garlic, but he's not wrong with a lot of his assessments. He's trying to prep for difficult waves. They're all, <laughs> by the way, they're not gargoyles, they're werewolves, uh, but it's fine. Right, Bible, he's yeah, not Bible, wrong yeah. about yeah. like trying to prepare for the okay. difficult waves that are going to come up. It's exactly how you should be thinking. Good. Is trying to time your build Hopefully around what you're going to need for Let's specific moments, here, specific waves food. that are difficult. Bro, I need more garlic damage. There he's wrong. He just needs now. more Bibles, and he would have really loved having a tome, because then his Bibles really would be up more often. Uh, he wouldn't have these big gaps in between Bibles like he does right, okay, now. right now. The one problem with, with Candle Labrador is it does I'll make, if you go. don't have right. enough Bibles, if you don't have enough amount, good. it does leave big right, holes uh, in the I'm Bible actually, circle. I'm actually, I'm really, so it's really a little bit of a right double-edged sword. Really you get the benefit of like garlic being better and most of your other weapons being better, but it does but does make your Bibles a little bit weaker. All right, the trick is to not get hit. Yeah, I, I can't figure that trick out yet. That's the one that keeps fucking... Uh, that one's so hard to do. Okay, this is fucking bat, man. Okay, that bat died His for deadpan you. takes really good are amazing. Uh, high quality deadpan there. It's just that my AoE Love it. damage is really low. What is spinach buff again? What is spinach buff again? The man. The legend. What is it buff? Uh, also, Fire the illiterate. Well, then I, you? So he probably should take spinach. It's not like, the best thing. He can live without it for sure. Soon. But it would have been good. I mean, everyone went through the phase where they just loved um, garlic more than anything else. Yeah, I think that spinach uh, is a little bit overrated, uh, even by me. Uh, I just put it in all my builds because I do kill builds. And so then I just translate that to being always good. Okay, good. The reality is it's not, it's not, certainly not more valuable than like Tome, Candle, Candle Labrador, here. Duplicator. Like those are just far and away so much okay, better. Right I mean, you can see how powerful the knockback is getting because I of the garlic. The like test. that's where it's good. And, then he and this is the thing that I think people don't realize garlic. is garlic late game is not about its damage. Garlic late game is all about the knockback resistance. It will save you. Like... You can play Dairy Plant. A lot of people ask, how do you win Dairy Plant? Dairy Plant's so hard. How do you win? Bible and Garlic will win Dairy Plant.
by itself. The robots will never touch you. The knockback resistance plus the plus the the Bible will just keep them away. And the, the one nice thing about Soul Eater is that the increased area does make it uh, even with Vandalier or not with Vandalier with Vespers, which is actually pretty important. Now we get big um, right if now we your Bible is too far outside of your garlic, uh, then your garlic won't reduce the knockback. And so then when you hit them with the Bible. Mm, um, they're only going to get the like, normal knockback, and once they get inside of the Bible range, area. you're basically right, dead. So, yeah, I mean, it, it does have an advantage, but it, you don't really need it. You can you can get similar area with just max garlic. This is the wave I'm telling you about. This 11-minute wave is incredibly powerful for just launching your your forest builds into the stratosphere. You have to take advantage of it. You really need to be ready to just walk through enemies. Double duplicator! Oh my god! Here... Here, he definitely should have taken Spellbinder. He has a guaranteed duplicator at some point in the run. He doesn't need it now. Spellbinder is incredibly important. And he should have taken it. That That's that's a, that's a sin. To not be able to guarantee the evolve of uh, the Bible is a sin. Okay, all right, duplicator is guaranteed because he already has it. He's guaranteed to get it uh, a second time. Oh, this is it, boys. Now, he doesn't know this, but Candle Labrador, you should level at the very end after you've leveled everything else to take advantage of the largest okay, possible right, area of effect. Again. But that's a bug, so we uh, we forgive that. It shouldn't exist. So again, if he had Cooldown Tome, this would be so much better. Cooldown Tome or Spellbinder, he had options to get both of them when he should have taken both of them. Um, even with just one of them, he would have no gaps in Bible. And with both of them, the Bibles would overlap. No, I'm not going to bleep him. I don't care. You think I've got time to go through and uh, bleep out all of his <laughs> all of his cursing in order to make sure my video doesn't get demonetized? He will get Labora as well. And that's like the final... Like combining those three, Labora, Bible... I mean, to be honest, Labora by itself, you'll win. If you can get Labora and just stand still and have full area you'll win because Labora will kill everything. But, especially if you're not playing with Curse. But Labora plus Bible plus Garlic is like, that's all you need. It's not even hard. Bible, 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 Bible. Come on, please, Bible. Red Bible, Red Bible. Yes! Okay, all right, we're saved. We are Does he not know saved. how Evolves work? He has, I guess he could have gotten Axe. Death Spiral would have been just as good. Maybe even better. There we go. I don't know. The one nice thing about Vespers, and this is people wondering how this works. Vespers is not permanent. Vespers does have a duration and a cooldown. But the difference between Holy Bible and Vespers is that Holy Bible is coded so that the cooldown doesn't start until the duration is over. Vespers doesn't do that. Vespers cooldown starts the moment that it spawns, which is like most weapons. So the duration is three seconds, the cooldown is three seconds, so your Vespers will actually, uh, at no cooldown reduction, no extra duration, your Vespers will always start at the time that they go away. A lot of people don't know that. It actually does go away and come back. The, the difference is the more cooldown you have and the more duration you have, the more overlapping Vespers you will generate. And you can have two or three Vespers overlapping each other because your cooldown is low enough and your your duration is long enough but it will be a big help for him here it fixes his biggest problem which is that his bible kept going away and then coming back now, and then going away which he could have addressed if he'd oh, taken cooldown tone late earlier perfect got him got him all right all right please be good please be good please be good this is a no stress chest it's nice nice what's this i don't know what he's this, freaking this, out this about good? he's fine please don't be that penumbered thing He's acting very desperate. If he literally just takes okay. his hands off the controller, he wins. All right, we're gonna pick just... up a lot of experience. Now. <laughs> this is big. Ex Holy They'd shit! They'd eventually get this through. The Not at these been. waves. No. The only reason they're getting through is because okay, he's moving. Uh, do, uh, he's out. moving, so and it gets through faster than it can get knocked back. Right if he now. just stands still, they're Actually gonna get knocked back. Huge. There it is. Good. One more, then it evolves into a Charizard. I feel like there were so many better Pokemon to pick than Charizard there. I'm gonna try to break my break, I mean, it's break water. My way in. Blastoise. My way in. There we go. There we go. Gyarados. There we go. Like, nice. Look at that damn. Why Charizard? All right. Uh, the trigger is chat. Uh, the commenting more. 
That's another, that's another one of the Pokeboys. <laughs> to trigger me Pokeboys. into mentioning it. This is, this is a very boring part. Uh, you know, I'm even, this is, this part's so boring, we're gonna skip it. This is where Death Spiral would come in handy, because now things are getting pushed inside of his Vespers, but if he had light, if he had a um, Death Spiral, it would push them back out. And so you have this constant push in and out of uh, Vespers plus the uh, Death Spiral. Then Labora, and then he's fine. He could literally stand now, and there's nothing that will kill him, not even the minute 25 boss. Labora was one of the, actually even Santa Water in general was one of those that I think was uh, completely underrated for a long time until the kill builds started coming out and people started swapping Santa Water into their kill builds, even pre-Labora. And then once Labora came out, like, it became very obvious that everyone was a moron and we were all, we were all dogging on Santa Water. Despite the fact that it was actually one of the best weapons in the game in terms of DPS, okay, if you used it correctly. I think uh, you can't... Someone might need to correct me. I don't believe that you can level an item and evolve it in the same chest. I think it's coded to not work that way. The item has to already be ready to evolve. Um, but once it gets it evolved, it'll be really, really good. You can get the final upgrade and... I don't think you... You did? I've never seen it before. I guess it might be possible, but I've never seen it before. Please... So he's in a really good spot now. He's basically invincible already at this point. Again, he could he could have taken his hands off the keyboard a while ago, but now he can throw his keyboard out the window. He'll, he's never gonna die. This is just no move challenge, standard no move challenge at this point. I don't think unless you've played the game for more than 100 hours, you should even be allowed to chest cancel. The animation is so freaking good even now after all this time. The dopamine hit is so strong. If you haven't yet, I wa I made a video about it. <laughs> it was my first kind of curated vampire survivors really video. Really was the dopamine really hit that comes from uh, that. from opening oh, vampire survivors chest. Look up pure story. dopamine on my channel. You can find that video. Yeah, I mean, so, uh, my my big thing is like, That's a boy. just don't get a Big Mac one day, and you can get vampire blood. survivors and have fun for a lifetime. Okay, good. <laughs> Just skip your weekly Big Mac order and get get Vampire Survivors instead, and you'll be fine. Not much to say at this point. He's at the point that everybody gets to, which is just chill and win. Like, he doesn't have to do anything at all. He can just chill and win. Doesn't have to level up anymore. Doesn't need any more chests. And again, this is what I'm talking about. Vespers is too strong. Nothing ever gets through. He can just stand there. There's not enough pressure in the level 28 or 28, 29 minute waves. There's not enough pressure to try to kill him. Now, it is freaking large. That's the only concern, there we go. is if okay. he didn't have All Death right, Spiral. We need that. If he didn't have Death Spiral, in the 29 minute wave, the giant swarm of bats will shove bats through past your Vespers and then they'll kill you. Which is why you need something like Death Spiral or, I mean, really anything that's gonna hit close range, Fire Wand can work. Um, something that can hit close range. Whip is also a really good one to pair uh, so that you can knock things that get through the Vesper barrier, knock them back out to the Vesper barrier where then they get knocked back even further. That's really the only concern, but he's got Death Spiral. It's going at a decent enough speed. He would knock back anything that got through the circle. Fucking doing it. I got and this so you're going to see the same pattern. A couple of bats are going to get through one. and the Death Spiral will just knock them all back. Come on. Come on. There he goes. Boom. Knocked away. Come on, we're pushing him back. Just thrown away. There he goes. It's over. What? And then he dies. Stage complete. Wait, what? What? By the way, zero chance he doesn't know that he dies at 30 minutes. This is all... This is all just him bullshitting for the camera. But, what did we learn? <laughs> what did we learn? We learned... You absolutely pick up Tome when you get it. Cooldown reduction is uh, probably the second most important stat in the game, just behind a mount. Duplicator, he did that right. He just got it, and uh, that's what you do. You get Duplicator, uh, you get as many as mounts as possible, cooldown reduction. Those are snap picks, you get them in every build, because they're always good, no matter what you have. Um, don't always focus on what you're going to need to evolve your levels. Sometimes it's better to have good accessories over evolved weapons. For safety purposes, Bible and Garlic, incredibly potent combo, especially when you get to Vespers. 
The only thing you need to be cautious about is you don't want, if you don't have any close range weapons, you really should avoid Candle Labrador because you want closer spirals of the Bibles. Um, you can also get projectile speed that will significantly help as well. Focus on leveling your weapons, uh, especially weapons that are gonna help you to survive and get through uh, in particular specific waves. So uh, prepping for 11 minute wave, making sure you have a high enough garlic level that you can one shot those enemies or uh, similar, getting enough Bibles, getting enough guns, getting enough whips. So you can just kind of mow down those waves uh, is, is pretty, pretty good. And, and then I would say generally throughout the entire run, he was not as aggressive as he could have been, especially early game. But even I would say all the way up through like 10, 12 minutes, he could have been a lot more aggressive. All right. And uh, that's it with the Asmund Gold review, react, and my tips and tricks. I mean, he did well. He did a, he did a standard beginner build. I can't really complain. He was able to survive for 30 minutes, right? So he did something right.